In this session, I'm going to demonstrate how to add students or other users to your course and give them various levels of access to your course. There are times where you're teaching an independent study course and a full class on site or online or wherever it may be, and there is a need that you may want to add that independent study student to your actual on site course. So here's how you add somebody else to your course. You go here under Users, and you choose Enrolled Users. Under Enrolled Users, you'll see all the students in your course, the groups that they belong to, and so on. Now you click here on this button, Enroll Users. And then you search for the student name. So in this case, I want to enroll somebody as a student role in this course. So let's say Sims. So let's say I want to add Hubert here to this course, and now that it found Hubert, I want to add this one. So I click on Enroll, and now Hubert has been added as a student in this course. Then I click on Finish and Enrolling Students, and now Hubert will be listed in here. If I want to also add Hubert to a specific group here, notice if I have groups in the course, click on the icon for groups here, and choose to add him to group A or group B. Again, I had to click on the group icon, the two picture thingy here. So that's how you add somebody as a student in your course. However, you can also add somebody as an administrative assistant. So be very careful with this and cautious of this. This was something that uh, typically uh, the IT department used to do, but you can do this also on your own. So you can go here under Enrolled Users and you can go and choose to add somebody as an administrative assistant role in your course. Now, if somebody is viewing this outside of Cairn, of course, you may not have the administrative assistant role. It depends on what other roles are given permission to you. So you click here on administrative assistant role, and now we go and add, um, search for the individual that we want to add there to that course. So let's say we choose So let's say I want to add online learning here for some reason as this account to have administrative assistant access. So make sure assign roles is administrative assistant for only those that need administrative assistant access. Very important. You don't want to give a student access to view other students' grades. So then I click here on enroll and then that administrative, administrative assistant will have access to pretty much everything that you have access to as a teacher in the course. They can change things, view the grades, do all kinds of stuff in the course. That's why it's important that you do this correctly. So that's how you add other users, enroll other users in your course on your own. If you have questions, just check with TS or you're not unsure or you want TS to do this, technology services to do this, just contact us.